Hello, you beautiful people. It's Toothy, Tooth Decay. So this is our holiday to Lanzarote, Puerto del Carmen in November 2023. This video is going to show you around the room that we had. Absolutely brilliant. La Branda, Los Cocoteros, right in front of Shenanigans and Buccaneers in Puerto del Carmen, if you know that area well. Stick around to the ends because I'm going to show you all the uh, the parakeets in the palm trees right outside our gaff. Other than that, we're going to have a little look around the room. There'll be some other videos about the area in general, but let's get on with this. Crack on, peeps. So we're staying in La Branda Los Cocoteros, which is on Puerto del Carmen seafront in Lanzarote. So this is room 501, it's on the second floor of the main block. And we've got a really good sized bedroom here. Um, there's not much to see out of that, the bedroom window, but you can get a sense of the space that we've got here. It's, it's really quite big by Spanish standards. Um, even the beds are bigger than the, the usual sort of two and a half foot. Got a really decent sized um, wardrobe there. There's a safe in it as well got similar on the other side if we open that up which we could take too far because I've got the safe open at the moment but loads and loads of storage for a week away really really pleased with this like I said nice nice looking room um, beds not made oops and then coming through next to that you've got bathroom so again Plenty of space, you've got a nice sort of walk-in shower there. Um, you've got a couple of hooks on the wall. Um, there are these sort of things on the wall to hang so there's another one with shower gel, hair and body over here. Um, other than that, apart from the toilet rolls, it's not really much there. But really clean, really tidy. And look again, lo loads of space around the sink, so for the two of us staying here, plenty of room to put your toiletries and bits and pieces on. You've got a hairdryer up there on the wall and another standard plug. Um, so look, not, not like ultra modern, but we got to remember we paid, with EasyJet flights, this room and all our baggage, um, just shy of 500 pound a person for a week. So looking into the kitchen here, good size fridge freezer. You've got all your standard bits you'd expect in the cupboards. So there's like pots, pans, frying pans down there, which is great. They had a couple of bottles of water for us on, on arrival, which was very welcome. Um, good sized fridge. So if you do want to re in, you can. Got another bottle of water in there. There's a little freezer up there, but it got an ice cube tray in it. Again, nice. Couple of glasses and plates and bits up there. In this one there's a kettle and that was obviously a coffee maker down there. Salt, pepper, oil, vinegar, shakers up there. There's a microwave here. Above that there are a little teapot and milk jug. In this one you've got plenty of plates, there's cups up there, cups and saucers. We've got the sink and a draining board. Under here you've got just a bin and a dustpan and brush. Yeah, knives and forks. That flannel uh, dishcloth was there when we got here. In there there's a little toaster. There's all your um, sort of cooking utensils and a little chopping board as well. And then that one we'd already done. And then you've got this really nice little sort of breakfast bar here as well. So the seats on the other side of that are standard like sort of dining room chair height. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a little fire blanket there as well. So sort of come out and have a look back into that. You know, that's, that's a, a really nice little space. I mean, going back towards, down towards the front door. Um, so look, we're, we're really, really happy with that. That sofa there is incredibly comfortable. I had a little layout and a snooze on that while I was waiting for the missus to get ready earlier. The aircon works really well. It's really cool in here, even though it's 
it's got to be 30 degrees outside even though it's cloudy so let's just pull these curtains back and I'll step back and let you a view of that from the kitchen because again this place it, it's for the money you, you really ain't gonna beat this I mean look at that you got that whole big picture window out there just looking straight onto the sea now look I think we paid around 20 pound extra to make sure that we had a sea view well look 20 pound was a, a one drink each in Gatwick at the Weatherspoons before we came so 20 quid to get that view I'm not knocking it at all do you know what I mean I think that's that's brilliant that I said there's a decent sized TV over there we don't tend to do a lot of watching TV while we're away but you know some nights you have one of those nights where you just want a night in um, you've been out and on it too much so again look lovely little seating area there's a comfy chair there right by the um, right by the window and you've got that reading light behind you the standard lamp that's a nice little touch it's just thoughtful you know you can sit there of an evening looking out over the sea you've got light to read by and then this little gem out here so yes all right you've got your your aircon unit there but it's got to go somewhere right this is a really good sized balcony i've been in a lot of places where you get a, a much smaller balcony so i mean look, looking down over all right you've got that's the it's like buccaneers and shenanigans um and is it Maritoni restaurant over there? So you've got all that stuff on, on the, the, the roof there. That's not bad, but that's where you come in just down there. And then you literally just walk all the way along that pathway, up and around there, into the main building. And you pop up to the second floor if for room 501, and then you're out. But that view, like I said, it's, it's well cloudy today. But that view is, is pretty stunning. And look down towards that would be Playa Blanca over there and then off into the distance over there is Fuerteventura you can get a get a ferry for about 38 euro a person return uh, takes about half hour over to Fuerteventura so I think we're probably going to do that one day but look you can see we're right on the beach right on the front for 500 pound a person you, you, you really can't knock it like I say including flights all your bags and, and the room, and that included transfers as well. We uh, we didn't take them because it's pretty close. It's only about 20 euro in a cab to get from the airport down to Puerto del Carmen. And you know what it's like when you get an airport transfer, it's loads and loads of people, it stops off loads of places. So it's probably gonna take you an hour, hour and a half to get it. Um, I didn't mention, actually I should have. There's also a, a two ring hob over there in the kitchen. So anyway, look, La Brenda, Los Cocoteros in Puerto del Carmen in Lanzarote with that absolutely fantastic picture window, lovely balcony, 20 quid for the upgrades to the, to, the, to the sea view room. There's a pool on site as well. Um, no bar that I've found, but look, you're right in the middle of everything here. So, you know, Old Town is a five minute walk off to the right when you come out and then you're already on the strip. So you've got everything going off to the left. It's probably, if you know this area, it's probably about just under a 10 minute walk down to the casino. Um, anyway, we'll do a fair bit more while we're over here. So for now, laters, potatoes.